Yes, now we are going to perform putting the profile board. A profile board just have two pegs and another board. So for each corner, we put peg, peg, and we put a profile board. We, pu we put a board on those pegs. So it means on the corner, we have two pro profile board. As indicated on this figure, as you see here, so this is a profile board, this is another profile board, this is a profile board, this is another profile board. So a profile board, a profile board. So this a yellow color that you see, it will indicate also this centering of this wall, as you see on this here on the ground. This a yellow color that you see, it indicates the center line of the wall. If here it is a center line, it means here we have a trench. So we have to move a little bit so that if we are going to dig a trench, so our profile will be safe. Yes, uh, here we come up to fix our profile board, as you see. So, you check your drawings. So, this peg, it is located in the middle of this wall. So, this yellow color that you see, it is this building line. So now, we are going to extend this center to the profile board. So we need to pull this bedding line up to the profile in both sides, on this y-axis and this x-axis. Here we mark, this is the center. And now on our profile board, here we need to indicate the thickness of the wall and the thickness of the foundation. We consider this the center line of the wall, so if our foundation we have 40 centimeters, so it means on this part we have 20, on the other part also we have 20, which the total give us 40 centimeters. But also, you have to mark the thickness of the wall, which will have 20. It means from the center line, on the one part you have 10 centimeter, then the other part you have 10 centimeter, which will give us the thickness of the wall, which will have 20 centimeter. And then we have to put the nails to mark the thickness of the foundation. As you see here, we have 
uh, 40 centimeter of the thickness of the foundation. This is the center line that will have the thickness of the wall that will be erected on the foundation. Now we finish uh, to put profile board. Now we are going uh, to put building line in order to demarcate the thickness of wall, the thickness of the foundation, so that we can see the thickness of the trench. Now, we come up to fix the old bidding line. Now, you can see some image on the ground, the same that you have on the drawing. Uh, those bidding line indicate the width or the thickness of the foundation that we will have. So it means the wall will be erected above of this foundation. Here on our profile board, we have this, the thickness of the foundation. This thickness also will be the thickness of the trench where we dig. But on the profile board, we have uh, those measurement of the wall, the thickness of the wall, even the center of that wall. This profile board, as I have said before, it must be extended to this center line so that if we dig this trench, they will not affect those profile board because those profile board will remain there up the foundation will be finished. I want you to check the plan that you have here on this ground and check with our architecture drawing that we have. We, we come up to fix this building line. Let's now put sawdust so that uh, the money power we indicate where they will dig on the ground. Because if you, they come dig with, with this building line, those building line will be cut. So I want to demarcate with sawdust on the ground so that they see the, their width of their trench. So we are going to use this sawdust in order to demarcate the trench of our building.
Yes, now we come up to the market where our foundation will be passed. Uh, now, if we consider this architecture drawing, let's start by showing the entrance. This is the location of our house. So, we have moved from our plot boundary, we moved seven meter, as you see on the side. So it means from the plot boundary up this baseline where we start our building, it is seven meter. If we check on the side, so from this side of this plot, the setback is, you check on your set plant is three meters, 30 centimeter. It means it is from here up to here where we start our building, as it is indicated on this site plan. Also, you have to check on the right side here. Also, we have to maintain this 3 meter, 30 centimeter. It means from this plot boundary up where we start our building. So it means half 3 meter, 30 centimeters. From the site plan, it is where we have establish our baseline of our building. We respect those seven meter and then those three meter, 30 centimeter. We have located this, the first corner of our building. So we established this baseline of our building, which is with this AB. It means this corner is this corner A. We have established this first peg and this line to this corner B. This is the baseline. So from this baseline, we have established this AG. This is from this corner up to that corner. We establish this AG. So by looking on the measurement, we put here a right angle using a steel square. So we, pay, we have maintained this baseline and then we stretch so that we put a right angle so that we establish this AG. So from this corner G, so we want to establish this another corner E. So we maintain this AG, and then we put a, a steel square so that we have here a light angle, and then we, uh, we construct the drawing, and then we see the dimension from the center line here up to E. It means we come here on the dimension where we establish this back view of our building. So it means it is from here up to here. Uh, from this E, so we want to establish this D. So here we put also a steel square and then we have here a light angle, and then with the measurement, we have the corner D. It means the corner D it is located here. And then finally, in order to get the point C, so we have maintained this ED, and then here, we have to have a right angle. Here we put a, a right a city square so that we have this point, this point C. After doing that, we have to find the intermediate point here so that you see it's as if you have two rectangles. 
So, with the measurement, we check your drawing so that we, we establish the point F. That means, consider your drawing, the point F is located in the middle here. So, the city is four meter. So we, we have established this point F. And then finally, you have to check the diagonal. As you see, we have two rectangles. Uh, it means from this point F up to B, and also from A to G. So this, this rectangle, we check the diagonal. A, A, F, and B, G. So those diagonal must be equal. Also, you go to another rectangle, this one. So from DF must be to EC. Also, you have to check those diagonal. So thank you very much. Let's say, as I have said before, setting out of a building, it is a process of transferring architectural plan from the drawing to the ground. So you see, we can match this drawing that we have here and what we have here on the ground. Thank you very much. <laughs>